Hello Gemini, let's get started with your reading. This is a traditional love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You may want to take a look at your overview for the year 2022, link to this video. So let's see what you have in terms of your overall energy coming into the reading is we have the page of pentacles okay so in your relationship the status right now is making small offers not being overly ambitious your energy coming into this is a four of swords it looks like you need some rest some relaxation you might have had a very busy holiday season uh, you may be healing from something your significant other did or your person of interest did that has been painful, but it does look like you're in healing mode. Their energy that they're coming in with is justice, trying to be balanced, trying to, I think, be, you know, be their best self, be fair to you, be fair to themselves, and stay in a very sort of a neutral energy, but committed to the relationship. Justice card's powerful. It is Libra energy, and that is uh, the seventh house of committed relationships. So, Let's see what we have here for how, what actions you might be willing to take or what, what you're hoping for. Nine of cups, you want to have fun, eat, drink, be merry, be sensual, make love, laughter. It's a really fun energy. Again, you're in this energy of just wanting things to be easy, breezy. Life has been challenging in the recent past for you. We have the star card. Oh, your person feels that you are a rock star. They really want to show you that they value you. Your person is in this mode of really wanting to let you know that they love to look at the stars with you. They love to dream big with you. That is the energy that they're bringing in um, in terms of their actions. So they really want to spend more time with you. They just want to hang out. They, they just think that being with you has, you know, it's like laying in the field, looking at the stars at night, wishing upon a star. So you're in sort of a terrific energy this week. I really like that. That's nice for both of you. Nobody's getting carried away. It's all about living in the moment, staying balanced, keeping everything really nice and happy. Let's look at what's hidden in this situation. The world card, okay, so both of you are in the energy of expanding, of having success in your life, that you both want to go to the next level in your individual lives, but my feeling is that you want it also, because this is a relationship reading, we're asking about the relationship. What's hidden here is that both of you would like to go to the next level. You would like for this to culminate in something greater than is currently the case. What is the short-term outcome this week? It is the Knight of Swords energy. It is really speaking your truth. Both of you want to speak your truth. So it looks as though the two of you will be talking a lot. But somebody specific wants to come in and they have a lot to say. Now, whether it's you or the other person, I guess we're about to find out. So, Gemini, why are you in this energy of Four of Swords, needing rest? You could have actually been ill. You could have been sick. You could have, well, ill and sick, same thing. But you could, I just think you need rest. I'm not really seeing this as a highly negative energy, but we're going to pull clarifiers. So, you're very invested in the relationship. You have a very strong and high regard. Nice. So I feel as though the Four of Swords is just you sort of recovering from the holiday season, from working really hard. But look at this energy. You're coming in very invested, very patient. You have the courage. You have the tenacity. You have the desire. The Strength card and the Justice card, two major arcanas to clarify this energy of you sort of lying back, resting, taking care of yourself. But you very much want this relationship. We have the infinity symbol here. I think for many of you, this person represents a level of happiness that you've never had. You would seriously consider, when we look at the justice card, both of you would consider marriage because the justice card is making a commitment. So you're both coming in with this energy of wanting to maintain a high level of balance, being really fair, being kind, being reliable. 
um, you know, loving each other because the seventh house of marriage is Venus, the planet of love and everything you value, everything you find beautiful, and Saturn being responsible to one another. So when we look at the justice card, we are looking at Saturn and Venus. So, and both of you have it here. So that's kind of almost surprising because what's the likelihood in a reading that that would repeat so quickly so your person is in this king of swords energy trying to stay cool calm collected there is some sort of feeling that they've had in the recent past that you may or a situation in their life may not allow this relationship now when we look at this also, we can flip the meanings around because the cards have many interpretations. And we see your person not wanting to be in suspended animation. They're thinking very seriously. They're keeping their emotions out of it about what must end the Ten of Swords. What burden in their life, what person would they or what situation would they have to end and it looks as though they want to take action because they've thought about this long and hard. They're no longer looking at this from a different perspective that is getting out of, the, it's sort of like, okay, I'm gonna get out of the hanged man suspension. I'm gonna let myself down and I'm gonna start walking forward. So let's see what the hanged man is about. What is this hanged man energy for our Gemini friends? What is a hanged man? The daughter of swords so there we have the page of swords so it does look like they have been looking you up on the internet we call that the spy card what does the ten of swords represent does that represent what do they want what does this ten of swords mean to gemini specifically in their relationship the father of cups your person wants to nurture this they don't feel that they can though five of swords says that they want to take whatever they can get from the relationship now for some of you your person may the father card can indicate a family can indicate obligations so there are going to be a few of you it's not going to be everybody but your problem your person doesn't feel as though they can carry forward with you and that you might interpret that as being you know stabbed in the back five of swords you know taking more than they're giving okay they see it was magical but what i'm getting here is that for right now they're not seeing this relationship being able to commit to it i think in the way that your energy states in this situation okay so the nine of cups clarify the nine of cups okay so the nine of cups energy here for you gemini is you know you're just bossing up you feel like this is your person you feel like they you you want to be in this very powerful emperor energy i think that you would like to marry this person you feel as though they're the best person that you've ever been with as an overall viewpoint how you see them in terms of intellectually you know financially skill set energetically emotionally physically passion so i feel as though this is your person you have fire in your belly to make this work now they're sort of wishing upon a star over here so let's see where they're at with being able to manifest this their energy says that they feel overwhelmed and skeptical and they actually feel defeated because that's their energy. They're feeling stabbed in the back. They're feeling like life isn't fair. So that could also indicate they want to come to you and feel like they can't. But let's look in terms of their action. Let's see what we have here for Gemini friends. Oh, Mother of Swords. Okay. Queen of Swords, Mother of Swords. So the Mother of Swords, I call it the Judge Judy card. It's really trying to be very balanced, very fair. It is Libra energy again. So your person is feeling as though they would really like to make that commitment. They are looking at this from a very balanced perspective. The Mother of Pentacles, they want to nurture the relationship. They are actually going to be very balanced with you because these are their actions. They're going to be very balanced at this time. They're going to be very nurturing with you. They're going to keep their worries and concerns to themselves, but look at we have repeating energy. They are feeling the Four of Swords. You're feeling the Four of Swords. 
You may be dealing with a Leo energy, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Your person wants to take action, but again, I there's some circumstance in this relationship. It doesn't matter what the circumstance is, but both of you really want each other. You love each other. You feel that the relationship is incredibly worthy. You're much more optimistic about what you can give. They're much more pessimistic about what they can give. Okay, so now let's look and see what's hidden here in the energy between the two of you, okay? The hidden energy is that both of you are very success-oriented. You're very success-driven. You want this relationship to be successful. What do we know? Let's see. The star card, you both see each other as a star. Star is hopes and dreams for love coming true. So you are a wonderful match for each other. You both view yourselves that way. You'd like to expand this relationship. You'd like it to be bigger than it is. Ten of Cups energy. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Both of you are in the energy of wanting to be happily ever after. But the Ten of Wands says that you're carrying heavy burdens. Burdens are going to be released. How will burdens be released? Giving up, juggling two options, two choices, two entities. It doesn't have to be two people, but it could. Or two options. We also see the Daughter of Wands reversed. Not really being too carefree about this. The Daughter of Wands, Page of Wands, is like, oh, whoopee! You're not feeling childlike about this at all. You're feeling very much like this is much bigger than a childish energy or a small offer. So you're both wanting the same thing. You're both feeling overwhelmed that there's a situation or situations that both of you are involved in. Could be work, could be people, could just not be having the resources to give to this. But to me, it looks like somebody, looks like this person that you're coming to the reading about adores you, loves you, but has some issues, whatever. You know, sometimes two of coins is responsibility with other people, parents, children. Tell us what else is going on here with what's hidden here. The Seven of Wands, both of you keep are keeping your guard up right now. You're feeling a little defensive, but look at this. High Priestess, you really love each other. You know, we look at that High Priestess. It's a beautiful tiger. It's very passionate. The Chariot card says that you're keeping it a secret that you want nothing more than to rush towards each other and to have this development of love that is profound, hopes and dreams for love coming true for happily ever after. So both of you want this relationship. You want it very, very much. So now the outcome card is the Knight of Swords, and that is the two of you rushing in to speak to one another, or one or the other of you doing that, wanting to have a talk, somebody really pressing the issue to talk, to speak about this. We have the Ace of Cups reversed and the Devil card and the Five of Wands. Okay. So I feel as though somebody's coming in to declare that they are tied to someone or have responsibility to someone or have a relationship that has either ended or needs to end so that yours can be possible. So we see the cup of love is turned over. It was somebody who they felt very changed to in a way that was very unhealthy, very superficial, very unhappy. Somebody who was interfering in the relationship because they were competing. So somebody here does have baggage. I call that baggage from another relationship. A lot of times today, especially with men, they become divorced and they're in this situation that the former wife has the children during the week and then they have the children on the weekends. Um, so it leaves them no opportunity to have a social life. So I really get that for some of you, your person has some sort of obligation or care for other people related to a former commitment. Can be parents, can be two jobs, can be a lot of different things. 
Okay, so there, you're going to speak about this. The Tower card says that there's a radical change about to take place. Judgment card. Ooh, somebody may decide to get divorced, to let another relationship go. They may be finalizing a divorce. You may not have known about this. They may not have known about it if you're the one doing it. But judgment is releasing, releasing somebody from who was toxic energy after a fight, somebody who was a competitor, some situation. The Ace of Swords, you both have clarity. So the outcome this week is a big confession. This is a huge confession that this relationship should grow and advance. And the World card repeats itself again, going to the next level. I really feel, Gemini, that your person's dealing with a lot right now. I feel that that's a huge issue. Life is very complicated for them. I feel for you it's much more easy, breezy. You know where you're at. You know what you're doing. So let's look at the sacred destiny for them as well as you. Oh, this is a very messy. <laughs> Let me see if I can make those cards straighter here. Okay. So let's see. Okay. So your destiny card for this week is... There is a divine, trust the divine plan. Okay. A desert passage. You feel like you've been going without. And you, this is divine passage. So that makes sense. The Four of Swords is here. You feel as though you've been going without. Now Spirit is saying, look at this is divine. Don't worry about it. And your person wants to have a... They've had so much sadness and stress. We see that in terms of what destiny they want for this relationship, passion and pleasure savoring life with you. Oh, nice energy, Gemini. Really beautiful. Let's look and see. We're going to use Heart of the Fairy Oracle on some of these difficult to understand energies this really is a psychological view of what's happening behind the scenes it's sort of a magical mystical view of things in a gentle way in which we can see energies that we have to deal with okay the ten of swords the song your person just wants to put something behind them a person a relationship in which they're no longer invested emotionally they want to live life they want to live passionately they want to live joyfully you are their happy space look at this star card twice you're their hopes and dreams for love coming true so they just they want to be able to enjoy music to celebrate life with you why is the hanged man reversed? What is that energy? The queen of the day. They want to take action. They want to come towards you. They feel as though you're, you're daily, that they would love to spend time with you daily. I feel as though your person would really like to live with you, would like to make a commitment. The queen of bedlam is a five of swords. So that clarification is that it, it looks like your person may be divorced or in the process of divorce. And the queen of bedlam is somebody who is, well, it's so self-explanatory. This would be the ex-wife who is a nightmare that's always trying to call your person, who's trying to bring division to you, bring strife, causing arguments, always in a state of trying to get even or trying to cause pain and grief to you to essentially break up your relationship. Tell us about the moon card. What is your person afraid of? They're afraid that you're going to see them as too immature to do what they need to do. They feel as though they've been fun. There may be an age difference. Uh, your person feels as though you might not see them as the king of wands. They really are the king of wands. But it does speak to the fact that when they're dealing with this queen of bedlam, I mean, she, quote unquote, I'll say she, or the energy of the queen of bedlam, really just reduces your person to almost a childlike state of innocence and they they don't know how to deal with her they don't have the sort of you know difficult um they don't have the skill set to sort of deal with this person what i get is that they come in with sort of a they try to nurture this person they try to get them out of that energy but there's a childlike pleading that they do with them 
they seem to feel like they lose their power when they deal with this person. So they're reduced to feeling like a child in the relationship, but they're really not. I mean, this person is a king of wands, but we get that their response is to try to act like a good friend to this person, to try to nurture green, you know, helping this person grow, trying to be there as a support system to them. So it doesn't look like they are very likely to abandon this person, but this person's going to cause unlimited grief in your relationship. However, let's see what the success factor is, because we do get the devil card. Let's see what what is the capability of your person dealing with this controlling entity, because it really means that the queen of Bedlam always is devil energy. The Elven Knight. Your person is really strong. They're very grounded. Your person has a capacity to really sort of blend into the, to, to the, to just blend into the background and sort of disappear so that this person can't affect them. We also have the Fairy of Growth. Your person's growing a lot. They're very, they're coming into a time in their life when they're surprisingly happy. We get the gift. Look at that. I was clarifying the tower card. They're totally shocked that this relationship is so wonderful. They just see this as a big surprise. They see this as a gift, quite literally. The judgment card says with the ace of swords, a clarifier is prick up your ears. Your person's about to tell you that life is changing. So that's your reading. I'm going to leave it there. Cindy, you love from Chicago. Send some back, please, and tell me where you're from, my friends. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.